Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this beauty to share with everyone. This is my design team project for Elsie Bell's bookshelf. And I was using a kit from her um, collection called Nature's Music. And one thing I wanted to mention about her kits are she always gives the two options. There's options to digitally download it where, you know, you print it out yourself at home, but she also has an option if you don't have a printer, don't have access to print anything out, um, or you would rather have somebody else print it out for you, they do come printed. So basically, if you look up Nature's Music or any of her other kits, you'll see there's two listings. One is a printed version, and then the other one is a digital download. So that way, everybody has access to these gorgeous kits that she makes, regardless if you have a printer or not. So I just wanted to let you know because <clears throat> I think that's, excuse me, I think that's a really good thing to have um, when you're doing digital kits because not everybody is able to print out um, the kits. So thumbs up for that. So let's talk about this cover. Normally, as you know, I always struggle with the covers. And I usually just kind of have a vision, but then it doesn't turn out, or I don't have a vision at all, and then it just kind of turns out. This one, I actually didn't really have a vision. I started with this. Um, and actually, you know what? Let me just take off the binding. <clears throat> Excuse me. I started with this um, journaling card, and this is one of the cards from the kit. And then it kind of spiraled into this. So what I did, um, you know what, let me stand up to make sure that I'm showing this correctly. Uh, you see this little like label type thing? This was also in the kit. So what I did was I cut it out, and then on my printer I just printed out the word notes. And then I sort of roughly ripped the edges, um, distressed them all, inked everything up, and got this. And then, after that, came the idea of, well, I want to put some lace on the bottom. And then it turned into the whole thing around. And then I sewed it all down. And then that was really cool. And then if you see, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is kind of like two layers of fabric. There's this fabric, which as you can see has all these little eyelets and everything in it. It's very, um, like looks flowery, even though it's all kind of embroidered. And then there also is a peach, not peach, but like a pale yellowish kind of sort of color that you can sort of see sticking through, but there's a um, material underneath this. So I'm just ecstatic for the way this came out. So let's get into it and I will show you this gorgeous kit. So inside, this is one of the pages and I liked this because it had kind of like a border here, but then there was still plenty of space to either write or put pictures or whatever you wanted to do. And then here's one of the um, postcards from the kit. And then inside here, I have a vintage playing card. I have this tag, and this tag is from the kit. And I hope I'm in focus. Kind of looks like it. And then this, um, oh, it goes this way. I just took a piece of some of my scrap um, cardstock and just did a little layering. I have some vintage music paper in the background, and then I have one of those tags again, just like the one on the front. Left this one blank, so you could put a date here or something you wanted to put there. Added a little um, seam binding ruffle with a little flower applique. And then, there we go. Oh, and then I also had a little lace down at the bottom there. <clears throat> and then look at this. How gorgeous is this kit? It's just, I, I love all the different, um, like the, the way, hold on, let's go back to the front. So like, you know how in the back you can see the music, but then you have the nature part of it. I just love how like the nature and then the music goes together. And then 
I don't know if you can be able to see because I don't know if it'll be able to be picked up on camera, but faint in the background, there's leaves, um, there's some insects. It's just really, really pretty. And then on the back is she had, it was kind of like a lines paper. Here's a little bird, um, or actually two little birds and then some flowers down there. And I don't know if, Hopefully this shows up on camera. You can see like little faded pieces of sort of like scotch tape. That's what it looks like. So I thought that was just super cool. And then we have some ledger paper. And oh, one thing I wanted to say about this journal. Some of the pages aren't full pages. There's full pages and then sort of these like three quarter length pages that don't go all the way to the edge. So you'll see kind of like a mix and a variety of them. And I did some of this eyelet trim on that. And then here I have a little tuck spot that flips up. Um, this is one of the butterflies from the kit. And then I just added some crochet trim. And here is one of the journaling cards. And they're all blank on the back, so that way you can write on them. And then this was a um, coffee dyed or tea dyed index card. And then I just added some um, blue eyelet trim on the top there. And some vintage music sheet paper and then some pretty lace there and then I have this wider lace here and it has so here's one of the postcards and this is a um, printed out larger size and then I also have the um, one of these vintage letters well sort of vintage it's postmarked 1947 I think um, it looks like 47 or maybe 57 I'm not really sure and I wonder if that and there's an actual letter in here oh it is 1947 so I thought that was pretty cool but I love the way can you see how it's so old this is yellowed and then it also is yellowed the glue there it's just so cool to have like a real um a real piece of vintage ephemera inside I mean I think Kind of add something extra. So those go right in there. And then look at this. Here's some dragonflies, some lines, so you can definitely journal on there. Look at there's the birds again. How cute are they? Then I have a little tab right there. And with this one here, let me bring it up a little closer. I used charm. And this one has a little butterfly on it. See, I don't even know. I can't really see well, but I'm hoping this is that you're able to see it too. So we have a little charm. This is one of the tags, but I decided to use the tag as a tuck spot. Um, and then here we have notes and inside, you know how I love to use these pages. Um, you can make little notes on here and you know, do whatever you want. And then here I have a vintage button with some seam binding. And then this has like, almost looks like stamped music lines. And then there's the dandelion and the dragonfly. And on the back, oh, this kit, I'm telling you, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I used a postcard and made another little pocket. So we have a um, Young Players Trivial Pursuit card. Here's another one of the tags. And then another tag, uh, not a tag, a journaling card. And then those go right back inside here. <clears throat> and then I also did something different. Um, some of the larger postcards, what I did is I turned them into little pockets. So you can kind of hide stuff away in there. So I have these two hiding in here. And of course, you know, you can put whatever else you want in here. It doesn't have to be these. You can take these out and you can use those. But then I just clipped it here. And then if you don't want it clipped here, you can take out the clip and clip it wherever you like. And I have another little tab up there. It's another gorgeous image. And I like how this is very monotone and then it has the little green flowers there. And there's a dragonfly. I use some of the... Um, oh, okay. So this, if you can see... Um, see, it's kind of like a peachy, I don't know, yellowish... Mm, I think more of a peachy color, but this is the fabric that I used on the cover that you can sort of see peeking through. 
I don't know. Maybe in person you can. Not so much on camera, though. And then here is a little flip-up for writing. And I didn't... No, I did not leave the top over. And so it's just a flip-up for writing. But I have one of the dragonflies. I couldn't remember for a second I was going to call it a butterfly. We know it's not a butterfly. But um, this is one of the dragonflies that you print out. And I just kind of layered it over some scraps of um, lace and material. And then here I did a little bit of an altered guest check and I did sew it down and then in the on the pocket I have some vintage music paper here's one of the tickets from the kit and then underneath it has some um, I think this was seam binding if I'm not mistaken and then another one of the tags and a vintage playing card <clears throat> some more writing space there and here's the middle and I chose to do this as the middle because you know what? I wonder if I just there we go maybe zoom in just a little bit more because I just like these two together rather than being on separate pages because I just feel like this whole thing looks like a complete spread and that's what I liked about it so I use this as a center so that way you can see both at the same time and then again here we have another pocket with the same things. I won't take them out, but it's um, two journaling cards. And you know what I was thinking too? If you didn't want to use this in a book, well, because it also has two of them, this would be a good little gift um, holder for like, um, if you're giving somebody gift cards or cash or something, but kind of like as a, a little box to hold that stuff in. Just an idea. And then I stitched a butterfly on there. Here's some more of the material. Oh, and this one here, it's actually not a, um, a pocket. It's just a nice, huge journaling card, which plenty of space to write on the back. And then this is just some of the uh, vintage music paper that's been used throughout the book. And look at this behind it. I love how this is orange. And then everything else is very monotone there. And I don't even know if that's the right word. Is it a monotone? Where it's kind of like black, white, grayish without color. And then all of a sudden there's a pop of color like on this one. And then you have the peachy tulips. And then another little tuck spot for the, uh, uh, not for, with the postcards. And then three of the journaling cards. Two journaling cards and a tag. I don't know what I'm talking about tonight, but you can see. <laughs> and then look at this. I like these almost look shadowy, like they're flying off into the distance. And then again, I did a little um, corner tuck with a tag. And I made another little book, except this time I just used regular. Um, this is actually vintage um, watermarked some kind of paper and then I just did that on the front and then another little tab there and let me get back into frame and here's this nice bird here and then another one of the wide um, lace tuck spots and then here's two of the big journaling cards so these are the same journaling cards that I used to make the pockets a while back a few pages back not a while back and then some more pretty trim on the side there and then here we have another little flip up and I have some fun material I did a let me hold it closer I did a one of those paper flowers and then a vintage button and I love this button because it has the original thread that's in it when I now that I when I'm looking for buttons whether I be out in a state sale or a flea market, whatever, I'm always looking for the ones that already, that still have a thread because you know that button was actually used. And I think that's super cool. And so here's another tag journaling card. And then I made this journaling card. I did a little collaging in the corner and it's a um, coffee dyed uh, index card. And some more of the fabric. 
here some little butterfly not butterflies dragonflies and I don't know if we'll pick it up on camera but this is also lined here and something really cool and see how it looks like this is actually stitched it's not um, this is part of the design of the the, the image here but it's so cool and I love how it sticks out because it really does look like I um, tried to sew it or something but it's not it's printed it's really cool though <laughs> and here's another pocket with some more little tucky stuff in there and then here oh I love this one the same as that but it's one of my favorite images and then here's the back and here is the butterflies on this side and then you can see the music notes and everything which is super pretty super super pretty so this is my gorgeous design team project for Elsie Bell's bookshelf and like I was saying before um, you know definitely check out her kits because she does have the option to get them pre-printed and sent to you or if you do have a printer that you're able to use you can definitely download any of her kits because they are all super 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 gorgeous I haven't gotten one yet that I'm like eh, it's okay no they are all just like over the top perfect because it's based it's really like my style so that maybe that's why I love them all but they are seriously they're all beautiful beautiful kits so this one here, if you are interested in it, it is available in my Etsy. Um, I will have the link to this journal below, but I'm also going to put links to um, Ellie's Etsy shop as well as her YouTube channel. That way, you know, go out and check out her videos and check out her shop and see the different kits that she has because there's so many to choose from and all different varieties it's not like the same type one over and over there's something for everyone so trust me go to her shop you will find stuff you like no questions asked they're just there's just hands down she has great things so I will be back very very soon because I have some more things to share but I definitely wanted to show this one because I was so excited for how this one came out so I hope you all liked it thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video Bye.